Hello guys, welcome to this channel. Let's talk today about Hike Vision and VR not recording. As you can see, I have my Hike Vision DS7600 series and it's not recording. There is no symbol for recording. So let's talk about that. It also works for DVR. It's the same principle if your Hike Vision DVR is not recording. Here I have the solution. Stay with me to the end of the video because there's a lot of things you have to check, okay? Starting here at the physical part, I have my NVR with the hard drive connected. It's well connected. It's not dangling here. So just make sure you have the cables well connected here on the hard drive and also on the board. And also make sure you have a good brand of the hard drive, okay? I'm using Seagate, the Skyhawk Lite. There is also uh, other brand that works pretty fine, okay? But just make sure you have the correct one. Don't use uh, the hard drives that are designed for PCs, okay? You have also Western Digital with the purple line that works pretty fine. So make sure you have the correct hard drive and everything is well connected. And back here to the screen, let's take a look at the menu. So right click, menu, I check here the pattern and I check my hard drive. So the capacity is here, the status is normal, property, everything is good here, free space. And I also need to make sure that I click here, I select my hard drive and I click in initialization to format my hard drive. If that's your case, if you already have something recorded here, you don't wanna lose your data, don't do this, don't format here. But that's the case if you're using a new one, okay? So just making sure that I have everything here in place and the hard drive is there and something also important here in the physical part, let's just come back here. The power supply, I have this small power supply here. Okay, this one is not good. Then I have the medium one. This one sometimes is good, sometimes it's not, depending on your hard drive, your DVR or NVR, okay. And then I have, let's take a look at this, guys. This big one, okay. This is a 2.8 amperes power supply for this kind of NVRs. That's a in high vision NVR with power over Ethernet that I power my camera that I have just right here. That's the one, I'm using this high vision camera. That's the one pointing there to the NVR box. I have here the NVR, back there just the box, okay? So back here, you see, let me just exit here. So basically there is no symbol for recording. Back to the topic, recording on the NVR. Let's just check some things here in the menu. Right click, menu. We already checked the hard drive. Everything looks good here, connection good. It's formatted. And then here, let's see the record part. Okay, when I click here to record, to record, I see the schedule for recording. Guys, it's raining a lot here today, okay? So I see the recording part. There's the continuous event, motion, alarms, motion or alarm and motion and alarm. So I need to choose which one I want here. Yellow one, for example, it's for event. So on Mondays from zero to 25, 24, I'm recording by event. On Tuesday, I'm recording by motion detection. Okay, all day long as well. And here today is Saturday. You see, I'm recording here by motion as well. Okay, so I, now understand that today is about to record by motion. Okay, if there is no motion, there is no recording. That's the idea, okay? So first thing that I realize here, let me just come back here and there's no motion in front of the NVR right now. Let me just move my hands in front of the NVR so we can create some motion and see if it works. Okay, guys, not working. See, I, I'm moving my hands in front of the NVR. It's not working. Something is still missing. So let's just check. Right click, menu. Again, draw my pattern here. Record. Again, Saturday recording by motion. But now let's just come back and come to the camera. And here I have the camera management. I have the first camera that's working. Let's just double check that's the one that I want. Here it is. Okay, on camera management, I have this menu here for motion. And 
I have to make sure that motion it's detect it's enabled. All right. So it's good. It's here. And I come here. I can adjust the sensitivity. If it's not that sensitivity is low, it's not going to work. So everything is good here. So it's supposed to be working. Okay. And let's check mono recording. And here I have off for this camera. Okay. The camera number one. Let's just put on here and on. And now you see that I have the yellow one on. It's recording by manual operation, okay? Which means I'm going to record manually. Let me just come back here, I'm back. And now I see that's recording manually, not by motion and not by continuous recording, okay? So as you can see here in the recording menu around Saturday, that's today I'm recording, mo I want to record motion. But now it's recording manually all the time. That's not what I want. But at least now I have something recording. Every time I see the symbol here for recording, because it's recording, okay? But now let's just come back here to camera and camera management, the first camera, motion. Let's just make sure that everything here is selected, okay? Because if I unselect here, it's not going to record when there's motion on this part. So let's just select this again. Oops, back here to camera, motion. Oh, it didn't save, so it didn't change. So we're okay here. Let's just increase here to 80 sensitivity. Okay, everything is correct here. Apply and back here, let's go to menu and I just disable here and back and let's take a look here that's let's move in front of the camera again so here we go have the symbol for the motion detection and also the symbol for recording right now it's recording by motion two symbols recording and motion okay it keeps recording a little bit longer okay to record extra See, here we go. After I leave there, after I stop moving, it's still recording a little bit more. Okay, one more time. Okay, so here we go. It's recording by motion. Both symbols here for recording for motion. I understand that it's recording right now. Okay, right. Let's right click, come back to menu again, check more stuff. So, here in the main recording, I see that's off. No problem here if I still have off because right now I'm recording here by motion. Every time there's motion, I can record. Sometimes you don't see recording or any very because you're recording by motion, there is no motion in front of your camera. If there is no motion in front of your camera, like right now, there's nothing being recorded right now. So you get confused because you wanted to search the video like I'm doing here. Let's take a look. Here we go. Playback. And you see here I have the symbol for recording when there's an event or when there's a continuous recording. Okay, you have here line, the blue line, the red line, the green line. So make sure you understand that part. Okay. Here we go. My, my hands in front of the camera moving there. Just make sure we're recording correctly the way you want to record let's say we're working for a bank the bank is pointing the camera to a safe it's not a high vision box with rmn anymore it's a safe let's say it's a safe so the bank wants to record all the time there so you can come here to the menu record and change from continue uh, from motion to continuous and then you paint the line just right here and here we go it's recording now apply and back and it's continuously recording recording all the time okay when i come here to menu you see it's recording now it's on it's green i didn't change here it changed it by itself because it's recording it's saying it's on recording by schedule i changed the schedule there so now it's recording it's good now it's good okay i have here uh, according to my schedule, it's going to record here all the time, all day long. 
right? And again, mix and match. Let's say, for example, here, I want to change here the motion. And during the night, it's going to record by continuous recording, even if there's nobody there. And then during the day, it's going to record uh, here from 8 to 6. Okay, to 6.30, right? To 6.30 is going, or no, not, there's no 6.30 here. 8, 18, 19 to 7, okay? So 8 in the morning to 7 is going to record by motion. So I can pen the, uh, whatever I want here, the way I want. So now when I apply, at this time, it's going to record by motion. And at this time, it's going to record continuously, okay, at, uh, during the night. So... That's the way it's going to work. Okay, so right now is 13.18, so 1.18 p.m. And right now I have here set a schedule by motion. So let me just move my hands there. See, there's no recording right now. No continuous recording. It's going to record only there when there is motion. At night, it's recording all the time. You're going to see the symbol here, right? After 8 in the morning until, okay, until what? So, sorry, until, okay, 7.30. Okay, which means now, because we are just in the middle here, it's going to record by motion. So let's just move my hand again there. And here we go. It's recording, okay? Recording here by motion. Pretty good. Now you understand that, all right? And also something very important, okay? Now it's recording as, as expected, okay? Let's take a look here. Date. You see the date? It's correct here, today. And let's just uh, come back here and go to the menu and change this configuration. I come here to date. Uh, here, here we go. Date, let's say, let's come back a long time ago. The year is now 2004. I don't know why this anywhere comes like this, but it comes like when uh, you reset, you lose your data. Yeah, the date comes back to January 1st, 2004. Okay, that's the year my daughter was born. So here I just apply and come back. And here you see there is no recording anymore. Why? Because I'm recording here by schedule, right? You see my schedule here is for recording continuously and record here by motion detection, but there is no correct date here. So if something happens, let's say for example, here back to the NVR, okay? Let's say here this battery here is no longer working it's not keeping the date correctly okay the correct date it comes back to 2004 just like you see here 2004 okay then it's not going to record correctly it the universe is waiting for you to set up the correct date so make sure when you reset your NVR or you uh, change the battery here, whatever you do, that the date is correct. So let's just come back here to the menu and change the date again and see if it comes back working. So configuration again, here we go. The date, let's come back to this year because we are no longer on in 2004. We are now in 2023, here we go. And we are on July the 15th, the 15th, here we go. The time is correct, apply, back, here we go, exit. And now I need to move in front of the camera again. And here we go, it's recording, okay? I just forgot to move in front of the camera when the date was wrong, but uh, just to let you know, it doesn't work when I do this, right? If I have the wrong date, it doesn't work. So now it's recording, okay? By motion as well, again. So uh, let me just come here to playback. And you see that I have my recordings here, okay? In different times here. You have recording by continuous, you have recording by motion, by event. event. 
So basically, I have everything here working, okay? Set up to work as I want to. So basically, that's the idea. You need to check every single detail like this. And if you're recording by motion, never, ever, ever forget to come here to the camera and adjust this enable motion detection and also adjust here the sensitivity, right? Sometimes it's too low like this and then it's not gonna work, zero, or sometimes it's just 20, and then like a uh, small animal pass in front of the camera is not going to detect, and you're gonna look for your pet. Where is my pet? I don't see on the camera because you didn't adjust the sensitivity here. So just adjust accordingly here and apply, okay? And that's the way it works, okay? If your high vision any VR is not recording or your high vision DVR is not recording, you just need to see, to take a look at all these parameters that I was explaining here and you are good to go, okay? I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up in your comments and I see you in the next one.